In this tutorial, we're going to return to the building wizard to demonstrate how we can quickly create a building with five simple steps. First, we'll close the existing project via the File tab and then selecting the Close tool. We can now activate the Startup dialog by selecting the Building tab and then select Example Projects. And now select the Building Wizard. A five-step dialog is now displayed. The first step allows you to enter details about the project. This data can automatically be input into the info box using keywords. But for now, we'll ignore this and skip to the next step. Step 2 allows us to enter certain parameters such as the unit of measurement, in which case we select a meter here, where we enable the grid and the grid size. We can also set the scale. Here we'll keep 1 to 50, and using the save as default settings will allow us to use all of these settings as a default next time we use the system. And here we have several predefined room shapes to select from. We will use the L shape type 1. And now click next for the next step. Step 3 allows us to add dimensions to our predefined room shape. Here we can add either the external dimension or the internal dimension. In our example, we'll just change L3 to 8 meters. We can now also change the wall thickness and also the floor height. Select Next for the next step. Step 4 allows you to select the room height and also add a new floor. We will change our room heights here. You can select to have a flat roof as well at this stage, but for now we'll just select Next. Step 5 allows you to change the roof style. We're going to select this as a gable roof, and the gable roof is assigned. We can also change the um, alignment, the ridge height, and also your rafter spacing. You can actually define what floor the roof is going to be applied to. Here we've got the ability to change the overhang to 0.1 and our roof pitch, which is assigned to all surfaces. So there's our roof and finish. And this allows us to place our new house in either the 2D or the 3D view. We just drag and place it. I now want to just adjust the views. Um, let's arrange these vertically and just zoom in, show all, because I want to demonstrate to you how the house looks like in the project. Here we have the building one, uh, ground floor. If I disable the ground floor, you can see that switches off. Note, however, I have the 3D view selected, um, the upper floor and the attic. So, this tutorial demonstrates how we can easily and quickly create a building with five simple steps using the building wizard. Thank you.